Y'all, what's good, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Call Outs TV. This is your boy, Ja, man. I just want to say, man, happy Friday to y'all, man. It's Friday, man. You know what I'm saying? It's the last day of the work week for some of y'all. Tomorrow will be my last day of the work week. I can't wait, man. I'm fucking exhausted, man. But how y'all doing out there, man? Y'all know it's a lot going on on the internet, man, with this whole Styles P and J Hood controversy and D Block. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody's mad at Math Hoffa because Math Hoffa gave J Hood a platform to speak his mind on how, you know, D Block and the niggas was doing him dirty. Now, you know, a lot of y'all, y'all grew up on J Hood. I know I grew up on J Hood. You know what I'm saying? I was in group homes and DFYs and shit like that when I was younger. And that's all we used to bop all day is, is, is D-Block, L-O-X, you know what I mean? But some of you, you know, the millennial babies and shit like that, yeah, D-Block was everything. A lot of some of y'all, y'all know y'all don't remember the locks from back in the day. But, you know, like dudes that's in their 40s, they early 40s, late 30s, early 40s, mid 40s and beyond, they remember the locks when it was just three of them. Sheik, Jada, and Styles. When they was wearing them shiny, them neon suits. Remember that? When they was opening up doors for Pete Diddy and dancing around the music videos looking like fucking fools. But then once they once they really <laughs> left this nigga Diddy alone and, and started, you know what I mean, being in more tune with the streets... That's when, you know what I'm saying, the streets started fucking with them heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, Jada, you know, they Jada and them, they talk that 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 street shit. You know what I mean? They talk that street gutter gutter shit. They talk that jail talk, you know, but let's not make no mistake about it, y'all. Jada Kiss never been in jail. He never been locked up in a day in his life. He just been around official street niggas. His brothers and them was official street niggas. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that knew him from the neighborhood was criminals and shit like that. Jada was just nice with ramen. You feel me? And it panned out for him. He was able to make a successful rap career doing that. Styles, on the other hand, Styles is an official street nigga. You know what I'm saying? There's stabbings on his record. He was locked up in Valhalla. He was locked up in Valhalla, man. You know what I'm saying? Official nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like he really lived the street life, slung crack, carry guns, beat niggas up, viciously, like he viciously assaults niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like the old styles was that nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Sheik, another nigga. I think Sheik and Styles grew up together. I don't know about Jada and shit, but I think Sheik and Styles, they really grew up together, really from the same hood and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know what I'm saying? Jay Hood came along and shit, little young nigga, you know what I mean, from Y.O. You know what I'm saying? He just liked hanging around the older niggas and shit. So niggas started to take a liking to Jay Hood. You feel me? They're like, yo, man, this little nigga's nice, man. You know what I'm saying? Put this little nigga under the wing and shit like that. They probably met him through a third party. You know how that shit go. Because by the time LOX was popping it on, man, Jay Hood is a kid, man. Jay Hood, like my age, he about like 36 or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know what I'm saying? We love Jay Hood for, you know what I'm saying? Jay Hood had them punchlines back in the days, man. I'm not going to hold you. Like Jay Hood, he wasn't on that on that Cassidy Demon Time or that Lloyd Banks Demon Time, but for his time coming up and shit, like yeah, man, Jay Hood was everything to the youth. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to hear about oh he didn't go hard enough and shit. No, they didn't push him hard enough. They never promoted no album for him and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You were just, like, Jay hood was just on mixtapes and shit like that. Getting his little shine on here and there. You know what I'm saying? When they decided to go up on Hot 97 and, you know what I'm saying? They was beefing with 
you know what I'm saying, other labels and shit like that. You know what I mean? Especially um, G-Unit and shit. That's when they used to, you know, have J-Hood come around, man. But other than that, man, I don't know why the fuck everybody is mad at Matt Hoffa, man. I'm starting to notice and realize, too, ever since Matt Hoffa has been reaching the celebrity that he has on YouTube with over well, with about over 600,000 subscribers, I think, Niggas been hating on him, throwing shots out his way, and it's not his fault. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got, at the end of the day, bro, I don't see nothing instigating from Math Hoffa in that interview with Jay Hood. And I'm good at reading body language real well. I'm on my way to work, too, man. Shout out to my nine to five niggas. You know what I'm saying? That... I go to work every day, you know, and strive for greatness to support themselves and their families, man. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to all my content creators out there. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, man, this shit, this shit is wild, man. Like, J-Hood, man, I felt like he was telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real, y'all. You know what I'm saying? He's a young nigga trying to get put on. You feel what I'm saying? All them niggas have size on them, boy. All them niggas have size. All them niggas come from that street background. They got that street aura to them. J-Hood was just a kid looking up to them, being starstruck. And they took advantage of him, put him under the wing and shit like I already, I don't. I can't say too much about Kiss because Kiss, he don't give me bully vibes. Like, he'll bully a nigga, son a nigga, throw a nigga under the wing and give you a wedgie type shit. He don't, he don't strike me as that type of nigga. You feel what I'm saying? But Styles P, on the other hand, yeah. Styles P look like a nigga that uh, will oppress a nigga that's weak. And same thing with, with, with Sheik, man. You know them niggas that be having size on them, boys. Them niggas be bullies. You know what I'm saying? I was in group homes around them type of niggas, DFYs. I know the vibes. And I'm, I'm very good at reading body language. And I don't felt like J-Hood was capping not one bit, man. You know what I'm saying? They was taking advantage of the nigga, holding his publishing, not giving him his just dues, man. That's why J-Hood never went nowhere. When you are up and coming artist, it all it's all gonna boil down to who you sign with, who's who's motivated to push you to the top, not only themselves but help you get up off the ground too. That's how you make the whole team hot by spreading the love, man. I just felt like you know they was more focused on their careers as they should, but J Hood, man, man, they ain't get the best potential out of him, man, because they ain't push him. I'm going to keep saying it. You see, 50 Cent, he pushed Yayo. Yayo ain't nice like that. But he pushed him, gave him clout. He made Yayo a millionaire. Man, Yayo had a hell of a career. In basketball terms, he had a Hall of Fame career. He's like the equivalent to Draymond Green. He just reaped the benefits because of who he's with. It's not what you know, it's who you know. You understand what I'm saying? Draymond Green, not to switch the topic, but he benefited from being with the Splash Brothers. You know what I'm saying? And those chips he got is probably going to make him a Hall of Famer. You know what I'm saying? Made Yayo a, a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah, yo, he got his own podcast and shit like that. I think him and Uncle Murder, they be on This Is 50 and shit. You know what I'm saying? Giving their opinion on things and shit involving the industry. But, man, son, Jay Hood, man, Jay Hood had the talent, man. Like I said, man, during them times, man, 02, 03, 04, and all that, man. And them group homes, man, that's all niggas was playing. D-block all day. Not the lock. It locks too, but D-block. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas in my age bracket, you know what I'm saying? From anywhere from 30, 
32, anywhere from 32 to 37. Anywhere from 32 to 38. You know what I'm saying? They was listening to Jay Hood. And that's a big fact. But, you know what I mean? Like, Math Hoffa didn't know that Jay Hood was going to come up there and expose um, Cheek and, and, and Styles for being grimy niggas. Like, they, come on, man. They rugged niggas, man. They come from YO. You all the other hard niggas, pause. They come from Yonkers. 50 ain't never lie when he said that shit, man. That's a big fact. Yonkers is different. My group home, my group home in Hawthorne, New York, man, was close to Yonkers. Like a few, yeah, like a few stops of the Metro Dorf. Y.O. was right there, man. Like five minutes for the Bronx type shit, yeah. You know what I mean? So they definitely considered as, you know, New York City niggas, even though they live in Westchester. Valhalla, Jail is not equivalent to Rikers Island, but that's their Rikers Island. Niggas that live in, in Yon, Wyo, um, Mount Vernon, Greenberg, um, Poughkeepsie, you know what I'm saying? Upstate, they, like Westchester niggas and shit, they go here where they catch their charge. You know what I mean? That shit, that shit crept out in there, though. Valhalla, Valhalla got more clips than blood, especially, I know, in the early 2000s, that. You know what I mean? Because I had robbed a nigga. Me and my son had robbed a nigga in a group home and shit. You know, in the early 2000s, the group homes was wild. Listen to this. This is my shit. This is my shit, man. I got y'all, man. This is my shit. Got off with a legal aid, this for my niggas lot. 23 hours a day. I'm trying to invest in 23 ounces today. I'm trying to bubble on the low, somewhere in the boonies. A couple of my niggas are pounds and I'm